transforming teabag is one of the game changers in the Malaysia 11 plan. The objectives are to meet the demand of industry and contribute towards economic growth in view of globalisation, knowledge economy, technology advances and labour mobility. Focus will be given to transform the TVET delivery system and increase its attractiveness as a choice for another career pathway. Through engagement with various industries, it was highlighted that TVET instructors in public institutions are mostly lacking in skills and industry exposure. This has been attributed as one of the reasons that have hindered that the effectiveness of training in meeting industry requirements. Enabling industry-led approach is crucial to produce skilled human capital that meet the industry demand and support the migration of all economic sectors toward knowledge-intensive activities, in line with the aspiration to become a high-income nation. The 11 plan will focus on 11 initiative clustered into three main strategies. Strategy 1. Strengthening the governance of TVET for better management through the streamlining of the National Qualification Framework and harmonising of various rating systems across both private and public TVET institutions. Strategy 2. Enhancing the quality and delivery of TVET programme to improve graduates' employability by enabling industry to lead curriculum development, eliminating the duplication of programs and resources, enhancing cost efficiency and expanding funding for TVET to increase enrollment. Strategy 3. Enhancing TVET branding to increase its attractiveness. This will be achieved through promotional activities highlighting TVET as an attractive career choice. The Industry Skill Committee, in collaboration with industry players, will identify relevant competency for each sector. New partnership models with enable industry to get involved at every step of the value change, particularly in the design and delivery of the curriculum to ensure it is more hands-on and up-to-date. The new curriculum design will include apprenticeship, internship, practical placement and work-based industries. Institutions will be encouraged to embed industry input in the curriculum to ensure their graduates match the skill requirements of industry. Under the Economic Transformation Programme, Malaysia requires an increase of 2.5 of TVET enrollment in 2025. The current fact is, by versa, the demand for TVET workers is not enough in 10 out of 12 national key economic areas. The conventional university education is more favourable in comparison to TVET education. This situation leads to the lower number of TVET students, especially those with higher qualification. Malaysia should shift from higher education system that only focus on conventional university education as the only path to career undertaking by giving the other option to TVET education. Polytechnic plays its role in serving the TVET higher education with high demand skills and fulfill the industry requirements and thus alluring the opportunity to career pathway. TVET's enrollment is expected to increase tremendously via the cooperation with industry as to achieve the desired supply demand equation. In order to achieve the target, Ministry will heighten its cooperation and involvement with industry, improve its coordination with various TVET providers and renew its brand. The main initiatives include first, the involvement of industry in the process of planning and implementation of curriculum through the new cooperation scheme and increase its access through apprenticeship programs, hands-on training, simulation and special training. Second, improve coordination with various TWET providers to reduce the program redundancies and resources optimization, specialization in expertise and increase the cost efficiency. 
Third, improve on the coordination with other ministry or agency that offer TVET program as to synchronize the national qualification framework. Ensure the parallelity with various associations representing the key industry players and seek international accreditation for TVET program. Collaborations with industry will provide a series of connected education and training strategies and support services that enable individuals to secure industry-recognized credentials and obtain employment within an occupational area and to advance to higher levels of future education and employment in that area. As one of the polytechnic in Malaysia, Polytechnic Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah Polisas had taken a big step in initiating a collaboration with Piketty Logistics in 2012. Both parties agreed on five aspects. First, industrial visit to Piketty Logistics every semester for any relevant modules. Second, industrial training in Piketty Logistics based on availability. Third, Priority to DLS graduates to work at Piketty Logistics under availability. Fourth, three month industrial training for the lecturers at Piketty Logistics. Fifth, technology and information sharing on the latest development in logistics and supply chain management through the courses and seminars conducted by Piketty staff. Distributing information, knowledge and training that students have from industry, especially from PKT, uh, give uh, more students more competitive in job market. Definitely, definitely. Um, I, I was just emphasizing in my talk just now that um, uh, for me, I, I was a very competitive entrepreneur because I have a lot of job experience before I become entrepreneur. Uh, as a student, um, you get it only uh, the theoretical part of the education but then if you have a practical experience uh, and uh, understand the, the you have done a lot of tours you you can you can relate whatever experience you had to the interviewer your chances become better yeah is it engagement with industry make uh, will give student more job opportunity especially with uh, engagement with industry that process engaged, already yes. engaged. Yes, engaging with the industry is already uh, been proven that um, uh, it helps in the branding as well, that uh, your students have visited uh, world-class logistics company or world-class uh, site and uh, whatnot. So they can relate that to their study as well. I'm, I'm actually very happy that the uh, government have actually came up with this idea of uh, during last year's the national blueprint uh, mm -hmm. for education blueprint to get the polytechnics and also higher institution universities level to get the students are more involved in the industry. So I, I hope uh, by doing all these kind of trainings and whatnot, they will get better salary, they will get 100% uh, employability mm -hmm. among us. There's a mismatch between the industry and the uh, uh, private uh, um, industry and the academy. Okay. So we have to link them back together. So me being uh, one of the uh, top 25 uh, CEO under the CEO program, my idea is I have to show example yeah. how it works and then hopefully with the result uh, everyone will be more open-minded and uh, uh, give the students some opportunity to work. In 2014, Polisas was so fortunate when Piketty Logistics granted three scholarships to our students. Besides that, Piketty also offered jobs as trainees for the scholarships recipients prior to their studies program. The three lucky scholarships recipients are now continuing their studies at ALC College, starting their study in degree program in logistics at University of Gloucestershire, UK. Besides that, as Malaysia is moving forward to become the leader for ASEAN Logistic Hub in 2016, Polisas was also invited to a symposium hosted by Piketty Logistics. 
PKT continues its collaborative activities through industrial visit by students and staff, especially in the related courses such as warehousing and supply chain management for every semester. Since 2015, the CEO Faculty Program has brought a greater height by combining the knowledge and experiences of both the industry and academicians. Without any doubt, the planning and implementation of activities of POLISAS in strengthening its collaboration with targeted industry had been achieved. Performance-wise, strategic alliances with targeted player is verified through the achievements in narrowing the gap between the two. Polisas has been always in my heart. Polisas di hatiku.